just now, folks. It also but, reinforces the fact that he's not actually black because black. I was just gonna black. say that, dude. It's just <laughs> not literally what I was gonna say. Yeah. I don't want a ring. mentality, though, to do that shit. They're all so stuck in their own fucking yeah. narcissistic mm-hmm. bubble, mm-hmm. and it's all just looking good down there. That's all that fucking. They don't life have a purpose lives. in their life, you know. And this they is what comes it. out when you don't have. Uh, a- I need to point out something. Uh, I, I just realized he cannot spell fucking shit right. So he uh. says here. No, look at this. I. I guess the emoji means like my haters because the haters are out and working. From the moment Robin Hood TV announced it was going into production, these mm-hmm. goods, I guess he was trying to say these goons goofs, yeah. have been, goofs or goofs. Or goofs <laughs> yeah, have been making YouTube. <laughs> How do you mess up? He's internalized. Himself. He's internalized. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It, it yeah. depends. Like, isn't goofs like one of the, a goof, like the worst thing you could say in Canada? Like, is well, it? I don't know. To... What's the rule? I right? heard. I heard that it's apparently referring to a um, child predator. He probably oh. is a child predator. He's from fucking Toronto. They're all fucking. <laughs> 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 Thank you, said like, that. You, R. you, you want to go in deep? Like seriously, do a deep dive <laughs> on the weekend and Drake. Those guys are fucking underage girls on the regular in Toronto. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> this guy straight up is getting some underage poon on the side. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, <laughs> this is this stream is how I learned the weekend. To be Canadian. fair, those are the only <laughs> people who'd have any interest in him making the show. There's no so other woman he's going to be able to go up to and make. I made Robin and they'd be like, "Oh, let me suck your dick." Yeah, like there's no <laughs> what, no woman's going to be excited. You made Robin Hood. Yeah, um, yeah, no. Like it's oh so God, good. You're fighting you guys, the power. I'm yeah. so turned on. Amazing. <laughs> let's play this, uh, let's play this video clip just so you know everybody in chat can get some context and uh we'll tear it apart let's uh let's play it. hopefully you can hear the audio oh my show robin hood is getting rating bombed 1.6 out of 10 it's 1.1 now i think out of 10 no, you probably <laughs> why would someone do that it's just some tv show it's just Why some TV show. Please pay attention to the hand posture, to yeah. the to the posture of that, to his gesture. Wait, wait, where posture. can I like find this 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 turd pile of a show so I can destroy it after like you got to use a VPN my... to uh, to watch it. Okay, I... but like what 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 can I find it in Amazon if I switch it my says VPN? It, global Global TV and Stack TV, whatever the fuck that is. That's no, but like they said they were streaming it on Amazon and Hulu too. So I guess I have oh. to switch to the Canadian. I don't know about that. Um, really quick, yeah, uh, guys, a moron, obviously, uh, you know, he's like, why, why would someone leave a review on a TV show they watched? You know, it's like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Yeah. Dude, my what? comment that's ratioing his, uh, I commented saying, yeah, why would anyone leave a one-star review on a website that's entirely dedicated to reviewing shows? <laughs> <laughs> I love it hey, I... on Instagram. You can see all the people like, you know, guys, that that following this shit. guy has no idea what he's doing. He does. He doesn't even know the industry he's actually in. He pretends no. to be a director. This guy hasn't studied or even if he did, like his dad paid for something. Mm-hmm. He went there like max three times. This guy has no idea what film he's a music he's video like, man. Yeah, he is. He's yeah, he's a music here. video man. Uh, did, coach. Yeah, a I, music I, video man of what? Of, of some milk company in Switzerland that belongs <laughs> to his father's cousin? Yeah. He's not a video I, man I, of anything. Nobody would give this guy a project. I unless... just like to, I'd just like to point out, though, that many wonderful Steven Seagal films have higher rates on IMDb <laughs> than Robin Hood. I, I, I would sit in your living room with you on your couch and go through um, a Steven Seagal um, I don't have a couch. In, 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 okay. <laughs> when you're on the, on, the, on the floor. He's got a cardboard box. No, he's got a cardboard box. My, room has really my father's long. bed in it because, well, it's not damp in that It's a world. disgrace. Like, really, I mean, it's seriously, I'm for 35 years, I'm fucking working my ass off as an actor in this industry, try to make some relevant, you know, like addition to the culture, right? Sometimes mm-hmm. it's just a minute, sometimes it's just a good line. Trying to fucking, you know, do something important and meaningful with, with the acting business, give people inspiration and hope. And there comes people, you know, there comes like these enti- like, uh, uh, Swiss cheese with a noble hand posture, mm-hmm. right? People like this come along and they ruin uh, stuff that we are building up for years in the in the matter of minutes just because he is a puppet of someone else because he just can't stand the fact to be rich and eating swiss cheese the whole day 
Mm. <laughs> I just want to ask a quick, uh, quick question to chat. I noticed that um, viewership dropped at like 25 for like five seconds. It came back up again. Let me know if you guys are getting mid roll ad bullshit again because you should not mm -hmm. be. Um, I apologize if you are, but YouTube, you know how YouTube's been the last couple mm. of weeks. So, mm. uh, all right, let's keep playing this video and let's see. Well, being that Robin is actually a black woman this time, the angry nerd community is very upset. In fact, from the moment it was announced, these guys lost their minds. The, the moment. So this is a month ago. Real quick, now, before we go shout, further, shout out to I Ryan. Love that he calls out the angry nerd community. You realize you're adapting Robin Hood, legitimately one of the oldest nerd yeah, IPs of all time. Like this is old uh, English yeah. folklore. Like the nerds of nerds love this shit. Like Robin Hood fans trump Tolkien fans in mm -hmm. terms of OG lore. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's he true. again, it's from someone who doesn't. They don't. Uh, he doesn't really care, right? Like that, no, that's the that's the best way that I can explain it. He doesn't really care. You know, he's calling it angry nerds because that's the most simplistic way that they can basically shove any criticism away. You know, just blame it on angry nerds. That, that's all it is, right? It's not well, nothing yeah. is genuine criticism. It's all just angry nerds. Call, call me an angry nerd. I actually own this. Oh, nice. This book is older angry than nerd. me. Like my Robin Hood book is. <laughs> is this book is older than I am. This book is, I think, it's gonna be thirty five years. This particular printing is thirty five years old this year. Like Robin Hood fans, like we know our fucking shit. Just throwing that out there. My <laughs> first professional role that I ever played in my life was Robin Hood. Dude, there's a video of him that he made Ooh, when the cool. show just got announced. There's a video of him facing the backlash then. And he goes, okay, first of all, and second point, no one cares that much about Robin Hood. Okay, nobody. Stop that shit. He says that in one of his videos. So why did you adapt it? Yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah exactly. Why, why, why would you adapt something that could make you money? For the last, like, literally hundreds of years. Before there was TV, there was fucking stage mm. plays. There was yeah. people who would gather around campfires and tell stories of Robin Hood. Like, one of the most famous archetypes mm. in literature is the gentleman thief. And Robin Hood is yes. probably the most famous of gentleman mm. thieves in literature. It, it's English mythos. And, and for this stinking globalist fucker to <laughs> shit all over it, my <laughs> yeah. goodness, he's going to have hell to I pay mean, for it. I mean, I, I understand it's, you know, it's hard to follow up uh, the adventures of Robin Hood uh, mm -hmm. with, obviously, Errol and and uh, Olivia de Havilland. But no. this is not how you fucking do it, yeah. okay? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, no. Hey, that's the book I have right here, Cass, The Adventures of Robin Hood. That's the exact oh, book. Hell yeah. No, I'm talking about the film. That's actually yeah. one of my favorite films. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I love Hood that film, film too. Uh, Errol with Errol Flynn. Flynn. Yeah. Robin Hood is so cool oh. and classic. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm an apologist for the fucking Russell Crowe Robin Hood film from like 2010. If it's not, that shit was unbearable. Come on, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good film. The I'm, singing I'm just... and the dancing, uh, Russell Crowe. Singing and dancing. Yeah, he was singing and dancing in that movie. Don't you remember when the horses were drinking water? I know somebody kind of. You know, oh, uh, okay. I, I, sorry, you mean like 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 the way they were singing like folk song? I thought you meant like a musical number or something. It's not like no. a legit musical number. It's no, like, you know, I, yeah, if you do it, you know, while you have your bonfire and after mm. you know a fight and there is still blood dripping from your cheek and you sing like a nice masculine song, it's okay. But that thing that we're doing, like when the, the horses <laughs> were drinking water in the middle of the day, it looked like what's wrong with Ridley? I mean. Oh, I wanted to ask him this question, Ridley. What the hell was going on? Too much Let's red keep wine. Going. Come on. Sorry. Let's keep going. No, it's okay, because I want to finish the video. Hold on, because there's a lot of videos to go over. So this is just one we said we're releasing. Again, shout out to Ryan. What John. the fuck is what this background this? music? This is some this is fucking trash music, music because he puts, it, he puts it on every single video. That way his <laughs> label can claim whatever copyright. You know what exactly. I'm saying? That's why I'm pausing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. pausing yeah. Yeah. Sorry, chat. That's, that's, mm. why, that's why I'm doing that. This is so, some neo um, Woke disaster. Robin Hood remake looks different. Ha <laughs> ha. Guess what? He, he doesn't like that as a black woman either. Does he say that in the video, fucker? This will fail. <laughs> Look at that. Robin Look Hood who that is. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> bro, he actually looked at your video. Yeah, yeah, bro. I love it. And, I love and, it. And, and here's the best part. He watched some of it. Look, you can see the red bar. So he actually yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. some of the video. <laughs> That's like your <laughs> intro and like maybe like the first, first two words. You say it's like the first sentence is bro. Thanks for the I new stock footage white guy looks like Wyatt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what I wanted to say is that this, so anytime I do this thumbnail, whenever I do race swap, I always use black, right? Because I know it, I know it's like 
extreme. And I always put the stock photo of the white guy laughing because I know that people like this will get upset because <laughs> yeah. it's a white guy laughing Makes and they sense. automatically are going to think something before they even watch the video. And he only watched a very small portion mm. before he made up his mind. So you already knew yeah. like that's that's where it was. But then the funny thing is he thinks that's me. Like He said, oh, look, he's laughing. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's not me, bro. Like, that's what, like what's... a minute and a half. That's like a minute and a half of runtime he may I have watched. He watched your video. He didn't watch the Common Nerds video. Which yeah, is he didn't watch thing. this one, but he watched mm. mine, which is mm. hilarious. But again, it's because I think I used pretty extreme wording. Mm -hmm, Even yeah. Jeremy the Quarter <laughs> reacted to it. He fucking laughed. I'll, I'll play that video later, but let's keep going. Funny. <laughs> All right. Um, just when we started production, they were talking about it. One year ago, they were at us, right? Pop culture crisis. It's a crisis that we're doing Robin Hood. That's the name Bro, of the he, channel, you no. fucking idiot. This is the oh, fucking mom. name. Can you read? Can you read the name at the bottom of the title? What do you expect? Uh, guys, we, we've got to get pop culture out. crisis on the show now, just for that. I want to yeah, I I I I point something out idiot. really quick. This oh, no. this man, right? This director, this, this mm. person who is right i don't want to say deep in hollywood but let's just say semi deep in hollywood he's deep in you're, trudeau you are you are screenshotted what? videos. <laughs> hollywood is deep in him yeah you're, you're <laughs> screenshotting videos that have 174 views like the the second video has 170 something views. What oh, the... oh i'm sorry 125 views you're you're mad about a video that that 125 people saw he that, really that, does that not like people that must mean to me that you you really yeah. think that those yeah. like mm -hmm. this video like has hurt your mm. image somehow you know what i mean like it, honestly just, all, all this it. is all this is is obviously attention seeking and, and yeah, like you yeah. said with this whole you know copyright claiming of the music i'm sure that that is very much intentional to you know make money off the the channels that will obviously talk shit about Right. What do you, what do you, you know? They're obviously going to dunk on him for this. Uh, mm. Clearly, he, he tried to think this out. Oh, man, well, I'll get my name out there, get some attention. Mm -hmm. You know, then I'll maybe make some ad revenue off these fuckers. It, it screams that you, you're a broke fuck that lives with like five <laughs> people in a one bedroom fucking apartment in California or some shit. Mm. Uh, uh, unrelated, but Hypno, how's it feel to know that your videos do better than uh, videos owned by Tim Pool? Because Pop Culture Crisis is part of Tim Pool's company, and your videos do yeah. better. That got me feel good. Really? I didn't wow. know that actually. Yeah, yeah. Pop Culture yeah. Crisis is owned by Timcast. Nice. Know. Shout out to the oh. channel, man, for supporting the channel, making me better than uh, Pop Culture Crisis. Although <laughs> that is a very long title. I mean, that's a lot of words. Yeah. I mean, that whole on, thing on is a just thumbnail. Text. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I was gonna say that I find it funny that you know you, you call them broke, broke as actually. Let's just keep going because there's there's <laughs> one thing I want to point out coming up right now. Hold on, right hold on. when this person put this up a month ago so this is just when we said it's coming out they were that these videos are coming from either from the announcement or when it said it's coming out right like other languages look, other another... languages does he even know what this says all it all, all it is is text with a question mark that's it does he address um the whole the racist stereotype thing at all like yes. the fact that he he does okay yeah, what was his is. is that in a video that you have like lined up <clears throat> yeah I, I do okay. okay yeah but he doesn't really address it though he kind of he kind of says that he's not pushing a message right but like he okay. feels like what he made was not um uh trying to push any kind of like black people are amazing white people bad kind of a thing even though that's literally you know what the uh, fucking actually, i do believe him i genuinely do believe him when he says that but I, I believe that's how entrenched he is in all this bullshit in his mind he doesn't think that's what he's doing when that is what he's doing he's that fucking brainwashed mm. i was gonna say um yeah. this is this is literally the state of canadian media like they mm. hand out grants they give out funding yeah. to things mm. that are like explicitly anti-white so mm. i can i can kind of i'm with leon here i can believe that he doesn't think he's doing that but he's literally been brainwashed by this industry mm -hmm. and he's from fucking toronto toronto is one of the most progressive shitholes you will find in the entire <laughs> world like you mm -hmm. actually cannot turn a corner without running into this shit so mm -hmm. honestly all this is reflective of is the state of canadian media mm -hmm. he's, Canada. so deep, mm. he's so deep in the hive mind basically mm -hmm. that he, yeah. he really believes that this is how the world is and you know what i kind of believe yeah. that because in some of the responses he's been making to um to certain YouTubers and whatnot, mostly Ryan, I believe, uh, he'll say something along the lines of, "Oh, you guys are just denying the truth of reality and how the world really is," kind of a thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, and so I kind of, I kind of believe it's that. Funny, you know. Well, I that's agree. how most woke people are. Sorry, Coach, but no, no, uh, all woke people I know 
they genuinely believe that shit. They don't think they're like, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, they're on the wrong side or they think that's how the world really is. So yeah, Dude, I would 100 believe between, that. Like he... a Bill Gates woke and someone like this, like like Bill Gates knows it's all bullshit. He's just you know mm, playing yeah, off yes. it to get even yeah, richer. As opposed to the people right. that are giving Bill Gates the money, they actually believe this shit, whereas he yeah. knows it's a sham. Yeah, I know yeah. some of the agenda showrunners for um, you know for the elites and it, like in, in private life, if you, if you if you meet them, it's like it's crazy. They don't. Mm-hmm. They what they say is oh no, and I went to this conference and you know this is I'm protesting against this and this is such a and he's like such a nice person you think like you don't you don't realize that they're using you of course yeah, they're right. giving yeah. you free drinks right. free buffets and and free flights and all that because you you say whatever they write right you say whatever they kind of whisper into your ear you just repeat whatever you know the conference saying is on a bigger scale and your smaller scale and they're using you as as a speaks person as a spoke person yeah. to whatever their agenda is and they don't realize it actively not all the time oh i want to mention something the title in german up here i did look some uh is trans uh, Google Translate coach probably correct yeah. me. Basically, it says on the thumbnail it says "Why Robin," and at the right. bottom it says, "This is worse than Snow White and Disney." And Disney. Yeah. <laughs> right. Nice. And then I don't know what the Spanish is gonna say. So but... even the Germans who are you know getting yeah. woker by the minute are you know waking up. Also, there is mm. a huge. Yeah community in germany that is really waking mm. up and kind of going against oh it. lord <laughs> I, know. I, know. I know i know i just know that i these, hope he moves bro, to the i know that these guys are major triggered by the latino yeah. language because yeah, it just yeah. i know i know it I know, I know latinos it. give no shits about what they say yeah, the real they, ones anyway. But yeah. it's just the you know, obviously the the way it yeah. sounds and people talking. And the yeah. way he's pointing, think. the way he's pointing, yeah. he, he's supposed he thinks he's pointing at the German one, but he's actually yeah. pointing at the Spanish one. But <laughs> yeah. he's so I black, love the thumbnail. The Spanish <laughs> the, the thumbnail is great. It's like what <laughs> it's just a white guy terrified. <laughs> but see that, bro, that <laughs> that's the thing. He's, no, listen, th- these directors or, or these shills, man, they, they really don't understand YouTube culture, right? You no. have to have the thumbnail be very wow. attractive and pop out, right? Like mm. some of them are very extreme. That's why, mm. again, my, my thumbnail was, you know, Robin Hood gets blacked because I already know like that that's going to be a big, a big thing. So this guy's like, what the fuck? You know, scared of a black. He's not really scared of a black person, but he's just it just. It's just Funny. YouTube thumbnail culture. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that, that's yeah. how we do our thumbnails. But people like this, they look at it and they actually take it mm. literal and, and mm. specific and word for word and so serious. And I'm like, mm. why are you so serious, bro? Anyway, let's finish this video because it's going to get to the Gandalf part. I love this part. <laughs> Guy, they're, they're worldwide, these guys are going in. A black woman is going to be Robin Hood. It's going to be horrible. How could Robin Hood is a worldwide black story. kids do Robin Hood? Right? And these people tell you they're not racist. By the way, we're not racist. I don't know if he knew that. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, to be fair, like oh, I said, well. in my intro, <laughs> apparently <laughs> saying all Asian women is hot is that's racist. They all look, so I am apparently racist. Everyone else, not so much. <laughs> well, that's hey, what. Yeah, you director X. What the I, fuck I, is that? You. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> is this like a wow! Lansman monster. That, like that could be a match at the Gathering card from 1996. Oh, it's amazing, man. <laughs> you Camelot, by the way, Camelot three three one. What's up, man? Big PP. Hope you're hope you're doing good, man. Um, uh, I, I, Ryan, I, you I, don't realize how close to the truth you actually are with that, bro. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Vex, what were you gonna say? Sorry, uh, no, I find it a little bit ironic that he's calling all of these people, but the network that he's distributing this under in Canada actually put out an open hiring call about two or three years ago that was explicitly for black people only, and you yeah. couldn't apply otherwise. Mm. But he's not uh, pushing the message. You know, <laughs> I see that when they do shit like that, that's when I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like now now you're getting to now you're getting to the well, point. Yeah, that's what's so funny about this to me is like <laughs> when he's trying to call everybody out and he's talking like uh, Dispero and Nerdrotic, like, have me on your channel. Oh, you won't because I might call you racist. And then we're here like, come on the show and call us racist, yeah. please. We're Bro, waiting. Exactly. We're right here. That's what and I'm I'll saying. I'll scare you away with a ghost. I no. literally I literally <laughs> asked him to come on and like, bro, it, you I'm can like, call me racist to my face. That's perfectly please fine. Do please yeah. do it. Like, even come though, on. You know, it, even. It's like this comment is actually very accurate. It's, uh, it's DC3s. He says... What is even racist now? These people diluted the word so much that it is so meaningless. And yeah, you're absolutely it's right. Diluted like, so much, uh, I can get away with doing this on a show, and no one gives a shit. <laughs> well, yeah, because no we all. Oh, you just, you're unhinged. 
Okay. It's shout out hard. to uh, Twitch chat and also, sorry, and Rumble chat as well. We got a lot of people watching over there. Oh, shout out to everybody over there. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's get to Gandalf. This is a good part. I've watched a lot of these guys. I, I subscribe to a few of these guys. Ah, see, Don't... that's the part. Real cool. I'm sorry. There you go. Up. That see, he subscribes to the people who he, apparently he calls. So you're subscribed to racists. That's a little they're, interesting, you know. They're, you're asked, they're, they're not racist. Okay. Yeah, swear up and down, best not part, racist. They part. say we're the ones that are making everything about race. This guy's fucking French. This dude here put a black wizard yeah. with uh, <laughs> fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Gandalf. I want to. I want to point something out about this, and so then you guys can mm. comment. Yeah. So this guy, okay, he's he's literally complaining about a. St it's a stereotype, right? So he's mm -hmm. complaining about a stereotype: black Gandalf mm -hmm. with the gold chain, uh, jewelry, and fried chicken and all that shit, right? And he, I think that's a basketball or whatever in the corner. So <laughs> this guy Gandalf the, of the bling. <laughs> that's what he is. This guy literally is complaining about the stereotype while he is actively wearing a fucking chain and four <laughs> rings on on four of his five fucking Damn. fingers. Like he is he is literally the stereotype and he's complaining about fuck. the stereotype. The only di yeah, he's stoned as fuck. The only difference is that <laughs> he, he doesn't have gold jewelry on. It's like fake silver or whatever. So mm. well, and yeah, also, to be fair, this Gandalf thumbnail is really, really messed up because the hands are white. So where I want some consistency. Why is Gandalf? Oh, I didn't even realize that. Spray paint the wrong <laughs> Why are the hands white? Why did you? He's his black face Gandalf. He's, he's, he's he did it to he, sneak in. He's as black as Dr. X. It's sprayed on. Why? Why did we not go all the way? We should have just went all the way. I just don't understand. And ironically, <laughs> his finger is in the position of how he could like spin a basketball. So I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> you can you can take this as <laughs> far as you want to go. He There's doesn't so realize idiot. that all that the whole point of that character racist Gandalf is because his show is so <laughs> full of racist stereotypes <laughs> that it, yeah, just, it blends right in because he made all of that shit. I can't and it's not fucking. He has <laughs> never experienced anything <laughs> like that. He's tingling from one little party and one little dicky ducky room to the next dicky ducky room, and this is where he gets his instructions on what he needs to do. And he has never faced reality. He has never faced anything like the street life. He's coming from. Oh my god, he would cry if he went to a hood. If he went to Oakland, he would not would even cry. like that. Even here in Miami, he, he would cry, cry. probably. Yeah. Like, like, Miami oh. hood is bro, bro. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. You go you go to Brickle, there's like some fucked up neighborhood know, know, right yeah. next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Amazing. all broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. You what go with hat say? I, I, I oh I love my haters. Oh, that's yeah. Cute. Oh, he's yeah. wearing a hat he's and good. shirt that says he this loves her, smiles that he hates her, program and he's is... crying, complaining about right. his haters. So he's trying to pull like a, a male version of Mindy Kaling just without the sympathy because he's <laughs> well, not the, a female. Uh, so. The truth is yeah. that everyone who I makes love... a thing of like, I heart my haters are the biggest bitches. They're they are. Like, yeah, they because they only say comment. it online. They never say it in person. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just, it's completely. I mean, clearly is his big break in Hollywood uh, flopped miserably. So he's trying to get his big break on. Huh? <laughs>